Y'all, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, not only did I not make more progress since the last episode, um, I haven't played it. I'm sorry, man. 2023, can you calm down? Like, can you just, can you calm down with the bangers? What the fuck is even going on in this game? What is going on in this game? I have zero idea. 2023 is just the year of the banger. And here's the thing. This is a good game. I have some quarrels with it. I have some quarrels. Level design is... Yay. I wish things were a little more obvious and less obtuse. Give me more God of War Ragnarok, less Elden Ring in a game like this. Uh... But all in all, this is such a well-made, well-done game. And it's like, oh, why did you bury yourself in the sea that is 2023? Resident Evil 4 Remake. This. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Diablo 4. Baldur's Gate 3. Final Fantasy 16. And we're a couple days away from Starfield. And then we'll be 10 days away from Spider-Man 2. It's like, take a fucking chill pill. Eventually, I would like to get to Armored Core 6 even. If you can believe me. But like, it, it just... There's so many games, and I feel bad I keep saying this. There's so many games that came out this year where... If it was the only game to play that year, I'd be going fucking crazy. Welcome to Tantalor. With just that game. Like, this would have been beaten already. The beautiful... Remind me not to let you name the next world we discover. Give it time. You didn't like me much at first either. Jury's still out. I don't know, man. I'm overwhelmed. 2024 isn't going to be like this, is it? The only game coming out that I'm, like, actually excited for is probably the Gex fucking remake. <laughs> Spider-Man 2, I'm honestly a little indifferent on. I think those Spider-Man games are just kind of whatever. It's just me. No, I'm not an X-Bot shitting on Spider-Man. I own a PlayStation 5, and I tried Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales. You know, after a couple hours, it's just sort of, hey, okay, we've, we've swung from building to building. We sure did. Boy, oh boy, is this game pretty. Man, next-gen next gen console fucking graphics are fine. You PC nerds, you're just mad the difference isn't as huge anymore. It's not. It's really not. Someone made a a point the other day because someone made a tweet that was like, we went from this to this in five years, and it was like, I'm trying to think. It was like a picture of some Final <laughs> Fantasy character. It wasn't Cloud. But it was some really bad, pixelated, like, PS1 version of a Final Fantasy character. And then it was, like, a PS3 Final Fantasy character. And it looked, you know, it, it looked good. You know, PS3 360 era had some, had some good graphics, too. And someone, like, quote tweeted it. We're still calling it Twitter, by the way. I don't give a shit what that fucking Asperger's having dumbass calls it. Uh, we'll let that marinate for a little bit as I regret saying it. Um, <laughs> did he just turn around and look at the camera? I don't even fucking care, man. Look at how goddamn handsome I am. Um, what was I talking about? Completely lost my train of thought. I'm tired, folks. Oh, the graphics thing. 
it he made the comparison that like between the PS4 and the PS5 and like the Xbox One and the Xbox Series the last gen update was the smallest graphical update in gaming history from one generation to another and I think that fucking rocks because <laughs> it just proves I don't know eventually they're gonna hit a wall and it's gonna turn into okay well beyond making a game pretty I guess we'll have to make it fun or interesting which graphics aside probably really the only thing a game needs to ever be is fun or interesting one of the two graphics be damned i'll tell you right now if you put a ps1 skin on elden ring but put that game in 1996 it would it would be remembered as one of the greatest games of all time regardless that game with shitty graphics in the mid 90s would have blown our fucking mind fine say okay a game like that probably was impossible fine cut the map in half cut the map in the story in half still we're remembering it to this day same as fucking ocarina of time and mario 64 and you know all the other 3d platformers i'm just saying take away the combat or the story or the interesting part of the game or the fun part of the game which is death is walking around every corner then you wouldn't have a game just always ask yourself this if i took this aspect away from the game would it still be playable the answer with graphics is almost always 100 percent yes it is even a game that's known for having good graphics if you put if you put like an original xbox skin over what is it gears of war gears of war would still be fun as hell objectively the gameplay the cover shooting in that game is what sold it so well sure the gore and the blood was a nice touch xbox graphics it would be remembered just as fondly as it is today being on the 360. So my point! Stop caring about graphics and frame rate. Stop. I saw you. I get it. I get it. I've I'm I've come a little bit closer to your side of the aisle. I will now admit, you know, 60 frames is pretty nice. And a game that's running actual 4K 60 frames is really 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 pretty it is you guys have every right to bitch at games that are coming out at 30 but i'm sorry it's just a tired boring argument and i don't care you can be right just because you're right though doesn't mean i'm not gonna enjoy the game that's all i'll be honest the crash and spyro trilogies that were remastered the new graphics kind of wore off in like i don't know an hour an hour or two you know eventually you just stop going oh that's pretty oh i remember the original version of that that's pretty eventually what sunk me into those games was the gameplay and the characters and the colors and the the, the world design and the level design the gameplay I think games today, they just focus way too much on graphics. And if and if all of you want to jerk off and fucking really just come really hard, I mean a thick, fucking juicy load that you save for a $3,000 porn star one night. Like the thickest load of cum you can think about. Most of you feel that way about indie games. Do any fucking indie games look that good? Do they? Do they? Come on, be honest. Be honest. Do they look good? Do they? Go ahead. Go ahead and lie to me. Tell me your precious little indie game could ever look like this. Go ahead and lie. Go ahead and lie to me. The answer is no. Indie games literally live off their gameplay and their combat mechanics and their level design. 
So no. No. Shut the fuck up. With your graphics argument. It has never meant anything and it never will. There's a reason people to this day bitch about fucking retro games being lost to the online library. Unless you physically own the disc and physically own the console. I refuse to obey you was betrayed by the one I trusted most. Stop. What is going on in the story? I'm afraid I have talked way too much. And I am not going to play this in a new game plus. I'll look at the cutscenes another time. Or I'll just rewatch this with my fucking dumbass. Oh god, oh god, I forgot how to play. I forgot how to play. Um, I slowed down time! Oh my god, oh, I'm completely mixing this up with Final Fantasy VII. DUDE! PUT THE LIGHTSABERS TOGETHER! GOD DAMN IT! Yeah, this is like, th this is the lightsaber that you like brute force the game with. Again, this is a great game. This series is great. I'm just remembering when Fallen Order came out, it was legitimately the only game for me to play at that time. I'm trying to think. I think I was playing a little bit of Outer Worlds, which is a really engrossing game. If you haven't played Outer Worlds, it's on Xbox Game Pass. Pick that shit up. That's a fucking fantastic game. Um, it's literally a better version of New Vegas with a space skin on it. Stop, stop bitching at me about New Vegas. New Vegas is a great game, but I've played both. I've played New Vegas and I've played Outer Worlds, and New Vegas has just made me go, oh, this is like Outer Worlds, but not as good. <laughs> Whether it be menu navigation or the mechanics. Also, dude, did we just lose to a one-armed man? He literally looks like Bradley Cooper with white skin and no beard. You just let another handsome one-armed man beat you, Cal. What just happened? Boy, I feel like I really just missed something important. I'm sorry! Release the Jedi from the Bakta tank. Ooh, skill point acquired. Ooh. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, is this a thing right here? You know what this game needs that Final Fantasy 16 has? A button you click that tells you which way to go. That fucking rocks. That's my one issue with this game is I never fucking know where to go. Okay. Uh, and the map sucks. The map is fucking what's it? What's the game? It's it's a great game and it's a great series, but it, the map pisses me off in the modern ones. Doom. Doom. The last two new Dooms can get fucked on the map. On the map. Gameplay, amazing. Graphics, awesome. Combat, wonderful. Gore, second to none. Why did we do that? What? Cal? Do I gotta take you out back? Oh boy. This is why nobody wants a ginger child. I'm joking. Gingers have souls. 
Okay? Gingers have souls. Um, do I jump for this? Yes, let me sense your echo. Catalor was supposed to bring us closer. All it did was divide our order. The council may have given up on you, but I know who you truly are, Dagon. Man, the Jedi Order can just get fucked. Ooh, good. Another skill point acquired. By the way, we've watched a little bit of Ahsoka. And yeah, we're uh, we're a little disappointed. Um, the show seems fine. But man, it, and I saw reviews that were titled this way. And I thought, oh, you know, I'm sure you're over-exaggerating. It was basically like, if you haven't watched Star Wars Rebels, which is a little Disney kitty cartoon version of Clone Wars, you will not know what the fuck is going on, and you will find it very hard to care about most characters and things. And I read that, and I'm like, oh, come on. It, you know, it's Star Wars, like... Nobody knew who the fuck the Mandalorian was, and we all found a way to care. God damn it, really? Is that how this mechanic works? I hit one thing and we're done? That's fun. Anyways, we can care about random-ass characters. Give me a break. We all saw Baby Yoda, and we fucking were like, ah! Anyways... I watched it and I really I felt the exact same way everybody wrote those articles. I was like, "Oh. Man, this is really going after the fucking rebels angle. Like holy shit." I'm not saying they should do this, but it would be kind of nice. Um, let's see. I haven't unlocked any goddamn perks. Skills. Ooh, what do we want to unlock, guys? Oh, let's see. Wait, what? No, I use I use double bladed more than anything. Yes. Anything continue hitting square. I'm on board. I'm always going to be on board with that. Um delay for a flurry of quick targeted swings. No. Is there seriously another way to dual lightsabers? BD1 stime can canisters refill some force meter. Oh, that's nice. Cal recovers additional life when using. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's a useful technique. We got to we got to look up the fucking controls on how to do that. Increase the amount of time. No, no, no. How do I do it though? How do I do it? Oh, see these combo attacks? I'm just not a fan of. 
There we go. All right, Cal, we made ourselves significantly stronger. God, this game is beautiful. I have not played this in a fortnight. No, it's been a while, and honestly, I'm not going to lie. After this episode, I may send this shit back to Gamefly. <laughs> I'm just not... Wait, where am I supposed to go? Check on the mantis. Jesus Christ, that was all the way over here. Oh, my God. Can I fast travel? Can we not fast travel? I thought that was a major thing in this game that they added. Oh, boy. I hope there's a fucking shortcut. Um... This is a very Metroid-esque like game in that they 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 make you look at things that you can't touch or use yet. And it's really frustrating. And I don't like that part either. It seems like they doubled down on a lot of that that was not in Fallen Order. Which I get. They were like, all right, we're going to make two bigger and better... Okay, um, I'm guessing I have to go this way. What do you want me to do? Okay, and we're stuck again. Is it super obvious with what you're supposed to do? There's, there's no, there's no, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing to do going that way. There's got to be another way to go. Oh, up here. Oh, well, yeah, I can't go that way. There's water. More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumb shot. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to find a way out of here. This is what I don't like. Like, this just keeps happening in the game for me. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do here. And it's it's just not fun. Like, this is not fun trying to figure this out. This game is kind of bad with the level design. You fucking nailed everything and missed the most important thing. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Where? Zero idea. Zero. Zero. Zero idea. This sucks. This sucks. This actually sucks ass. I'm done. This is the finale. I'm done. This game actually sucks. It sucks. Turn it off. Turn it off. Game sucks. You won't see any more of this piece of shit game. Fuck this fucking game. Fuck it.